Have you heard of the creepy cave that was underneath Lakeland Asylum in Louisville, Kentucky? I mean, technically it's still there, you just can't go inside. Okay, so first of all, Lakeland Asylum was a wild place. I'm gonna get into that in a second. It's located in Tom Sawyer Park, and it was originally built to have about 3,500 inmates, but by the 1940s, it had about 1,000 more than that. So they were just stacking people in there as much as they could. I mean, this place was messed up. They were in there doing lobotomies back when lobotomies were supposed to be in the history books, and they were doing electric shock therapy. They were just trying all kinds of stuff in there. They just didn't care. The really sad part is that people there probably just had run-of-the-mill depression or anxiety, nothing crazy. I mean, locals even have stories of orderlies just beating people up and unaliving them for no reason. But that's not even the creepiest part. The creepiest part is the caves underneath it. Yes, there were caves underneath the asylum. So basically, they had these caves underneath the asylum that they used to store stuff. And after it was abandoned, people went in and they found a bunch of containers of sauerkraut, which is why it became known as Sauerkraut Cave. All right, that alone is creepy for me. You got all this sauerkraut? What do you need it all for? Who's using it? What's going on there? But it's believed that these caves were like an escape route for inmates when they just want to get out of there. But because of the water, sharp rocks, all that stuff, a lot of people think that there's just a lot of graves down there. And there's even worse rumors about what happened in those caves that I'm not going to get into. But now I'm wondering, okay, What's up with the sauerkraut? Was that some kind of experimental treatment too? Some kind of torture? 